Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to do my question and answer video. Thank you so much to everyone who left questions on my in the comments and uh, who Instagrammed me questions. Uh, I really appreciate it and there were some fabulous questions in here. So let's jump into the questions. And if I pronounce your name wrong, I am so sorry, but I did want to give a shout out to the people who did leave the question, so I am am saying your name. So the first question um, is from Megan Cantrell. How often do you contour and highlight, and what products do you use? I thought this was an interesting question because I don't do this that often. Uh, I did do a little contouring today, and uh, I used this little duo from Paula's Choice. I like this, it's really matte, and I used this to really do a little contouring here, and then a tiny bit of all-over bronzing with the lighter shade. More often, I'm looking for a product that I'm going to get like kind of a dual purpose use out of, and for me, um, that tends to be more of the blushes that have a little bit of glow built into them. So I went ahead and pulled some of my favorites and I thought I would share those with you. Uh, one of my all-time favorites is from Milani and it's the Dolce Pink. This gives you such a beautiful little light flush of pink uh, on your cheeks and not a ton of I mean, it looks pretty glittery in here, but it really doesn't come off very glittery on the face. So I like that a ton. And Kate, that's one of Kate's favorites as well, just FYI. Uh, another favorite of mine is the Rockateur from Benefit. This has a fabulous glow in it, and it's just a really beautiful neutral. I love this. I haven't worn this all summer, so I'm anxious to pull this out again for the fall. And uh, something new that I've picked up, I haven't even talked to you guys about it, but oh my goodness, uh, it's this little holiday palette from Hourglass with the ambient light infused blushes. I'm using, I'm wearing this one today, the middle one, which is their new exclusive one. And as much as I didn't like the ambient lighting powders, I really am digging these blushes. I'm really excited about these. And then there are a few that I like kind of for more of a bronzy um, kind of all-in-one. I really love this one from Tarte, this new one from Tarte, and this is the um, the rose bronze. So this gives you a rosy bronzy glow, kind of all-in-one. And this little one from NARS, it's uh, Lovejoy, it's one that I'm using, it's in my use up for the year, yeah, not happening, but I've used this a ton, and uh, this is like almost like a great um, bronzy blush, and so sometimes I'll take a stippling brush and just run the edge here, so I can kind of carve out a little bit, and then blend a little bit all over. So uh, I like this if I want a little bit of a bronzy contoured look. All right, the next question is from uh, my girl Sandra over at Makeup Lover USA. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> um, her question is, how did you and your hubby meet? So we met in college. We lived in the same dorm. It was uh, my freshman year and his sophomore year. We lived in the same dorm, never really ran into each other. Um, he was pretty much a jock and I was not, so we ran in very different circles. And towards the end of the year, uh, one of my close friends was having a birthday party for her boyfriend, who lived next door to my now husband. So we both ended up at the same party, and I you know, kind of went, hmm, okay, I'm going to go over and introduce myself because that's just how I rolled back then, and uh, went over and introduced myself, and we started dating shortly thereafter. Okay, the next question is from Deborah Little Little. Deborah, I'm sorry. I'm really struggling with your last name. 
what would you, what are your thoughts on eyelid primers versus base shadows for crepey and hooded eyes? <laughs> I think this is such an excellent question and maybe one I'll do a deeper dive into for a bigger, longer video, but my initial thoughts are um, more about the finish of the product you're using and less about the product. I use base shadows probably not as frequently as I use primers just because the primers are a little bit more convenient for me. A neutral flat primer like uh, like the Urban Decay Primer Potion or their anti-aging one that doesn't uh, doesn't add any glitter uh, to your lid. Some of the um, color tattoos are great but they have a little shimmer and if you're really worried about that crepiness uh, showing up I would steer clear of those and stick with their more matte formula. So that's kind of my thoughts about that. Uh, stay more matte if you're worried about the crepiness and if you don't care, go for it. I use both and yes I have some crepiness but what the heck. <laughs> All right, the next question is from Crystal Corner. Uh, I would like to know what masks are the ones that you that are your favorite that you find yourself reaching for. And that kind of ties in with a second, another question from Live Loves Makeup, which is, what are your top five masks? So I'm gonna kind of group those two questions together. And absolutely my most favorite type of mask to use is a clay-based mask because I tend to be very oily. And uh, so those are the ones that I really find myself reaching for the absolute most. Um, I'm gonna hold up this one from Paula's Choice. Yeah, I'm using, I am use this one quite a bit. Really like this one. And I'm really liking this one from Glam Glow, which is their kind of like hydrating clay-based mask. Uh, I really liked this one when I um, used this on Mask Monday, so I find myself reaching for that one a little bit more, especially now as the seasons are changing because it does offer a little bit of hydration. So in terms of, so those are two. In terms of other, uh, of my favorite types of masks, I love peel off masks. I think because they remind me of my childhood. My mother had some real fancy schmancy mask that you painted on and it almost had like a, a brush attached to the lid like, like rubber cement. You know, it was kind of hard and you painted that on, you let it dry and, and then you peel it off. I don't remember who was the manufacturer, who was the, the, the company that made that mask, but I used that a lot growing up, and I love, I still to this day, I love using them. I think they're really fun. So uh, definitely like peel-off masks. There are a bunch of different ones. Bosha has some nice ones. Uh, this little uh, company has some nice ones. I usually find these up in uh, Ulta, kind of by the checkout counter. They'll have them there. So these are a little bit um, more inexpensive. So I do really like those. Uh, to round out this question, some of my other favorite masks to add, you know, I would say this is a favorite. This is definitely a favorite. I love these little uh, Shiseido, Shiseido, I have such trouble saying that name. The Benefiance Pure Retinol Instant Treatment Eye Masks. I really love these if I have time before I'm um, going out to an event and I can sit back and put these on and really hydrate that kind of problem area for me. I probably should use them more regularly, but I don't, because they're kind of pricey, and so I save them for special occasions. I hate when people say that, but I just said it. Okay. Uh, I also really like uh, a sheet mask for when I want to just like sit back and really relax and just lay down on my bed and take 30 minutes and let the sheet mask do its thing and Sometimes I watch videos, sometimes Kate's over there with a mask and we're chit-chatting and we're just chilling. So I really like sheet masks. Again, this company makes some really affordable ones. Uh, there's some really good ones at Target. So um, sheet masks, I think, are really popular right now and they're all over the place. I don't really have a, a favorite sheet mask um, per se, so that's one of the other ones. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about is another Paula's Choice product which is the uh, hydrating mask. And I often use these two together and I put this under my eyes, this everywhere else. 
this is not kind of, you know, will run in tandem with a lot of different masks just because I can put this under my eyes and hydrate that area while I'm doing a treatment on the other part of my face. So while we're talking about masks, I want to uh, go to the next question, which is from Paula's Choice Fan. And she says, I know you're a huge Paula's Choice fan. Yes, I am. Uh, she doesn't recommend spending the money on the Glam Glow products or masks at all. Your thoughts? So I really gave this question a lot of thought. The first thing I did was I went to Beautypedia and looked them up and they don't get very good ratings on Beautypedia. And I know why, you know, primarily because they come in a jar. Jar packaging is not great. I get that. Uh, and some the fragrance uh, can be a problem. And I think she feels that they're, they are expensive and they are expensive. And probably there are much more affordable options out there including hers. So, you know, I like to mix it up. Sometimes I like using the kind of luxurious brands, and sometimes I like to keep it, um, you know, a little bit more uh, reasonable. So that's why I have, you know, Shiseido, Shiseido. I'm never gonna get that right. So the next question is from Patricia Rodriguez, and her question is, uh, are there certain foundations that look good on mature skin, 45 years and over? So this was another very thought-provoking question. And I feel like it's more about your skin type than your skin age. And then it's about finish. So if I were going to be selecting a foundation, I'm first off going to look for a foundation that's going to work with my combination to oily skin. because. Anything else is a total non-starter for me. If you are drier, you probably want to look for a more hydrating foundation, which, you know, probably has something like Luminous in the, the name of it. Um, and then I would look for the finish because I feel, and I really feel pretty strongly about this, as you get older and you have more imperfections, less is more, uh, not more. <laughs> more is not more less is definitely more. And so if you can go to one of the lightest foundations that offer you the best coverage, I think you're going to be better off and it's, you're going to look fresher and younger, which is why I spend a lot of time on skincare and trying to, to really uh, deal with some of the imperfections on my skin with the skincare and less with my makeup. I hope that was helpful. Uh, less is more. So I'm going to say, less, I find less is more. The older I get, less is more. Okay, so then uh, the last question is from Maddie Sayer. She had three questions, and they're kind of fun, so I saved them for the end because they're kind of fun. And uh, the first question is, what is your favorite makeup brand? And, whoa, I don't know. It just depends. So I kind of looked into my collection, and I own a lot of Urban Decay, so... I would say Urban Decay is definitely one that I really uh, am excited about when they come out with something new. I also um, have recently been diving into Too Faced and I find some of their stuff. I really like their eyeshadow palettes. Uh, so I'm really enjoying those quite a bit. Tarte, you know, I love those little circle palettes. So, but I would say those are all kind of equal. I wouldn't say there's one that's a favorite. So there's certainly things in all of those brands that I pass on because they don't, they're not something I'm interested in. From the drugstore, um, I own a lot of Milani. I love their lipsticks. I like their blushes. I like their little shadow eye sticks. I think that's a really fabulous drugstore brand. So uh, there you have it. Okay, and uh, who is your favorite Kardashian? Oh my God, I laughed out loud when this question came up. We're still, we're still doing your questions, Maddie. So, uh, yes, I do watch the Kardashians, usually with Kate. Um, I think they're really kind of, um, what do I want to say about the Kardashians? I think they're like, I love the family dynamics. And I don't know, 
they're just fun. To, they're just like fun to watch. They're kind of like those romance novels that everybody reads. Yeah, they're not intellectual TV. So who's my favorite Kardashian? Well, I think Kim is just stunning. I think, but I think she's a little bit of a whiner. So I think Courtney is, um, she's out there. She has some weird ideas, so, hmm. Um, yeah. So I really think Chloe is the one that I probably relate to the most. I think she's the most real, if you can call any of them real, uh, being a reality TV star, but, uh, I think Chloe's the one that I would probably be most interested in becoming friends with. That's the way I kind of approached this, uh, question. <laughs> and then the last question is, when and why did you start YouTube? So, uh, I started YouTube almost two years ago, not quite two years ago, and I started it primarily because, well, A, I really love makeup, but I, I found myself in an empty nest. My children had all moved out, and I had a lot of time on my hands, and I was like, oh, I need a new hobby, and so I just did a video and put it up there, and I was totally hooked from then on. I just love doing it. I love seeing the interaction in the comments sections. I like uh, filming and coming up with ideas. The editing process, once I've figured out how to do it, I really have enjoyed that quite a bit. So, um, yeah. So I would say, I think it's about March, early March of next year will be my second uh, year anniversary on YouTube. So that wraps up all the questions. If I missed your question, I'm so sorry. Please go ahead and leave it down below and I'll start collecting new questions if there are enough and enough interest. In this video, I may go ahead and do another Q&A video sometime in the future. I think they're kind of fun to watch and it gives me some insight as to what uh, you all are interested, especially I loved loved all the, like, the product questions that were in here, and uh, I may expand upon some of these for future videos. So, uh, If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join me for future videos. And uh, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I also have a Pinterest account, so um, yeah, check me out there, and I'll see you real soon. Bye!